Hello everyone, Mickey Cobble with you and today we're gonna talk about gas limits, max priority fees and basically we'll try to understand all this metamask configuration which you may be always curious why people change them and how they affect the price of your transactions. If you like my channel please consider subscribing, hit the like button and turn on notification bell. My goal of this video is to explain you in depth on what are these fields in MetaMask so you avoid confusion whenever you mean something or you try to perform your transactions. First of all, let's take a look at simple transaction. I'll try to buy something on OpenSea, Open MetaMask, and I will show you in depth interface. So MetaMask has this button edit. By default, there is a suggested gas fee for OpenSea, which is $53 and this is not a rule you can adjust it and basically we should adjust it depends on how are we in rush to purchase certain nft or mint it so here we see three parameters max fee max priority fee and gas limit and i explicitly tell them from bottom to up because it actually makes more sense for me so max fee multiplied by gas limit is going to be your maximum price of your transaction not taking in consideration anything is going to be your maximum you allow to spend on this transaction keeping that in mind you can't put max priority fee higher than your max fee because max priority fee is included into max fee and this is the most confusing part which people are missing out max priority fee is a part of max fee if base fee in the network is high let's say you allow uh, max fee as 64 guay multiply by gas limit and there is nothing left for priority fee it's actually gonna be zero your transaction will be still pending but you will have zero priority fees this is allowance for priority fee and it only makes sense if you have enough high max fee so everything what is left over about max fee it's going to be your priority fee so basically the logic works that way but first of all network check your max fee which is your max fee price multiply by gas limit and we get some number x so this is the maximum you can you allow network to spend on your transaction then network will check okay what is the base fee right now in the network and the base fee you don't define that base fee you can go and check on every single transaction if you go on other scan you will see this gas fee uh, this base fee everywhere and it's defined by network for example here is 468 guay so this is the base fee so you don't define it in metamask it's defined by network so it's very important to know that so when you define this max fee network will check okay what is the base fee and let's say the base fee is six is 468 then what network will do it will it will try start using this base fee right base fee it will start using it for every single point of gas unit so it will start burning that basically once you submit transaction it will start burning this max priority fee and let's say the base fee multiplied by gas limit we needed to use certain amount so from the whole progress bar of defined of gas limit so this is x we kind of burned like something like here so this is what we burn just to pay to the network this one we burn so this is network next from this space which is basically left over from x you allow by defining max priority fee you allow network to use it as a tip to miner to prioritize your transaction against others so if there are many people who want to submit transaction and they define same max fee 
a network has like allow all of them to submit their transaction between all of these guys network is gonna be picking the one who created highest miners uh, fee and so this is gonna be here so i'll just use different color to show you out that so this is miners fee right miners fee miners fee so if you do define that you will prioritize yourself obviously again very important if you defined x which is max fee too low and network spikes it goes very very fast and base fee is high it doesn't matter what you define as miners fee because basically your transaction will not push through you need that uh, max fee is always higher than base fee which is defined by network and when we mean something for nfts it usually goes extremely fast that's why we want to put it much much higher and we want to predict it to be higher and then on top of that we want to make a miners fee that we also if we have some left over our gas here we also prioritize against these guys and we basically win the mint so again this is how it works and you may ask me oh so okay miki so what's happening with this one right like what's happening with this leftover and leftover is actually going to be returned to your wallet so that's pretty much it it's going to be returned to your wallet so let me show you an example on transaction when i was minting only force so here are numbers this is etherscan maybe i'll attach this transaction you you're free to check it out uh, i was minting seven items and it was only force launch uh, gas fees were quite crazy i was doing announcement for that and you can see uh, from this transaction what happened right you can see that base fee you first of all you can see my gas limit so my gas limit defined was 1 million two six four thousand i did use max uh, metamask default uh, recommendation for that so i didn't adjust that so it was just recommended and uh, keep in mind this number right one one million two six four so if i open this spreadsheet i'll show you here this is one million two six four this number right so i'm just trying to un help you to understand how does it work so he, then you have used uh, by transaction gas so there was only 66 percent of used so if we go back to this page i here i put this used so important to know that when you define priorities in your metamask all these fees and everything it's not effectively what is gonna happen it's just what you allow network to use and it's not always the case right so i calculated how much i allowed network to use and it was 3.1 ethereum so this is if right but effectively uh, effectively it was not um, uh, three if it was two zero six ethereum and let's go deeper so the base fee was four six eight right when i was defining in metamask my transaction i could not actually know what will be the base fee so you don't define the base fee it's defined by network you only define priorities max fee so that number i actually calculated how did i calculate here in the predicted transaction i took my maximum total fee i took my miners fee i i deducted miners fee from total fee and i basically multiplied and i got my base fee so i allowed network to use base fee like this basically this is like eyeballing right so that was my allowance for base fee you can't explicitly define it in metamask unfortunately it's quite confusing i know that but uh, it is what it is and then let's go back and then effectively max priority fee was defined as one it's almost 2000 guay right this is what I allowed miners to use and actually miner got my tip if you see in actual price it was like that right so I allowed miners to get a fee 1980 uh, which is a lot if you think about that so miners fee allowance was 2.5 if so my maximum I wanted to pay to miners 2.5 if to prioritize my transaction effectively effectively because gas limit was used lower not one mil one million 
uh, 1.2 million right it was only 800 so my effective miners fee was 1.6 if so how did i calculate that i multiplied actual gas used with my maximum miners fee actual miners fee actually and then i got this number and then if you if you add base fee which is this number four six eight and then you multiply it with gas used you get how much i paid to network i paid to network 039 and then if you combine 039 with 1 1.67 which is my miners fee you can get in total basically how much it was uh, used so it was 206 ethereum and if we go to my transaction uh, you can see here is 206 ethereum this is exactly what happened so again gas limit defined by you but also recommended by metamask max total fee defined purely by you this is allowance for you to say how much you are willing to spend right this is this progress bar this is this x max fee it is basically a price per unit defined in metamask multiplied by maximum gas used which you define in metamask as well and then miners fee as long as the network is allows you to pass through transaction because base fee is something what is actual based on how network is loaded then you multiply by gas used and then you have something left then you will cut from their miners fee to prioritize your transaction and in the case of highly highly uh, demanding means you can see that very very often actually the used network fee is like this but actually miners fee is like this and you could see it from my transaction you could see that it was base fee was this 039 if and actually miners fee was this huge number so and here is example yeah so this was a very very clear example of actual mint with a very high gas price and uh, with uh, actual success in transaction i wanted to show you also another transaction just in an, as an example of someone minting three items which basically they needed less gas so they defined half million of gas limit and used was only 381 but it was 79 percent so the less you mint obviously the less information you need to write to contract so the gas limit will be different uh, people were asking me on this uh, this on channel and here is the last example of the same contract same nft people were trying to mint one asset so one asset the gas limit was 226 and the used gas was 151 so answering again everyone's questions is yes if you do mint less items you will use less gas so your transaction will be cheaper but you still need to keep in mind on your gas price basically on your max priority fee and your max fee to uh, make sure that your transaction will pass through again take a look at my in-depth video explaining the gas fees i have a separate link for that Let's take your time spend time please because it's extremely stressful when we do transaction when we mint in ethereum network and i do recommend you always adjust in max fees and basically even you just send money to your friend you don't need to do it fast you can very easily just go and load down your transaction price because you don't really care getting into the first block of the chain you basically can wait three five ten minutes if you don't care about the time thanks a lot for your attention i really enjoy communicating with you guys so leave me some comments subscribe to my channel hit the like button and sending me more ideas about what you want to hear from me have a wonderful day everyone